we've uh, made it Mohammad Ali Shah, who's a defense analyst, who's joining us on the broadcast. Uh, we also have with us Wing Commander Praful Bakshi. He's the former chief spokesperson of the Indian Air Force. Thank you so much, uh, gentlemen, for joining us on the broadcast and uh, talking uh, to us with regards to the disengagement process. Uh, up across to uh, Major Mohammad Ali Shah, who's also with us on the broadcast. Major Shah, now. Kogra Hot Springs area has continuously been a point of contention up until now. This, of course, is a big breakthrough as far as the India-China talks are concerned. Um, I want to ask you a more strategic question, Major Shah. After the Kogra Hot Springs, what are the other areas near the line of actual control that continue to be um, contentious between India and China? And what next can we expect in the talks that take place from this point forward? What is the next priority now after the Kogra Hot Springs uh, has been settled, so to speak? Uh, Paridhi, that's a very, very good question, a very, very pertinent question, because actually the entire 3,488 kilometer of stretch of the Indo-China border is a point of contention. Why? Because there is no actual line demarcated. Hmm. There is no line of control like unlike Pakistan. There is line of actual control, which is a perception. So this contention will always be there. It will not come to an end. Let me tell this to you. It will not come to an end when it's formally, officially, and it's put on papers, on records. Until then, this will go on. There is, they can be a placebo. They can be a temporary arrangement. But I do not see a permanent arrangement to this at all. You know, when uh, the Shimla Pact was signed, I'm talking about the early 90s, that time on a small scale map with a thick leaded pencil, a line was drawn. Now that line which was drawn, the British Indian Army was there of course. If you go on ground, that line would be over a hundred kilometers in stretch in width only. So now because that line would be over a hundred kilometers stretch, often we'll have Chinese patrols and Indian Army patrols coming face to face, and they would be a face off. They would be a fight. They would be fist fights. Like on 15th June 2020, we lost Colonel Babu from Bihar Regiment, Mahavir Chakra, which was awarded to him posthumously. 20 brave hearts, and they fought with stones, with the uh, with the uh, clubs, with sticks at the Galwan Lake, right? So now Lake Pengong, that's Pengong So So, the water body, so Pengong So, that entire area, not just in Ladakh. I'm talking about the northeast where the chicken neck area is there, where China often tries to do slum slicing by playing a smart act by getting into Nepal. So the entire ne uh, China border, what would be next? Because there has been tension. You don't deny there has been solid tension through. In fact, even the area in Arunachal, where Tawang, Tanga Valley, Khirmu, that entire, I spent my childhood over there. So when my father was posted over there, there has been often friction, often tension. Now that tension has to end. Now how does it end? You know, Robert Frost wrote a poem called Good Fences Make Good Neighbors. Because like in your own house, if, okay, let me explain this to you in a language where everyone would be able to understand me. You do not understand military strategy also. In our house, in our neighborhood, we have a wall, we have a gate, we have a fencing, we have a demarcated land. That this land is our house, it belongs to us. And that particular side is public area, road, or that particular side is the neighbors. But what do we do when there is no demarcation, there is no gate, there is no wall, there is no fencing? Then that point of contention would always be there. Now it all depends which side the soldiers dominate more. Because we often, you can see on YouTube, there would be uh, soldiers from Chinese army who would say, no, no, but as per my map, it shows that this area is mine. And then the Indian, Indian uh, uh, patrol would say, no, as per my map, it's over here. Like earlier, we used to patrol up to finger eight. Thereafter, we started patrolling up to finger four. So that was, again, why should we do that on our land? <laughs> that point would be always be there. And we can have n number of talks in China. They will never honor their word. Let me tell this to you. I'll, I can vouch with conviction about this because they have proved it in the past. And this history repeats itself. Be it Panchil, Pact, be it any of the Pacts. China has never honored our treaty. They will take two steps behind. They'll take one step behind. There's no doubt about that. But then they'll take two steps in front. So that has been China's strategy. So they cannot be trusted. What next? It will all depend upon where the patrols actually come face to face, uh, Paridhi. All right. Thank you so much, Major Shah, as well as Wing Commander Bakshi, for talking us through what it means for India and China now that uh, the disengagement of the Kogra Hot Springs is all set.